वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल हेयर यू डिस्कस द डिटेल सोल्यूशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम ऑन फिजिक्स लाइक आई आई टी जैम नेट के टी आई एफ आर जस्ट एक्सेट्रा एलॉन्ग विद ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड यू दियोटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्रूसियल टॉपिक्स ऑफ फिजिक्स सो सब्सक्राइब एंड प्लेस द बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट फ्रॉम एस एस स्पेस टाइम टूडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द सिलेबस ऑफ गेट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो the physics syllabus for gate exam is divided into eight sections the first section is mathematical physics so in mathematical physics uh, we need to know um, like linear vector spaces so basis orthogonality and completeness conditions so um, few questions are said every year from uh, these sections then matrix so you will uh, certainly get one or two questions from matrix after that vector calculus uh, a question may not come from this section vector calculus but uh, it is very essential to know about that then linear differential equation one question must comes from this part then elements of complex analysis complex analysis is very important especially those courier in courier sorry contour integrations then um, taylor series lorentz series and many more things are there branch point and branch cut related problems um, usually don't come in gate exam but uh, those questions come in um, cs and net exam then quasi riemann conditions quasi theorem singularities residue theorem and applications and after that laplace transforms uh, laplace of transforms are there followed by fourier analysis and uh, these two topics are very important so, uh, basically these two topics are very easy but one or two questions come from this section and after that elementary ideas about tensors so tensor is basically a very broad things and um, most of the time we are not able to solve questions from tensors but there are a uh, few things which i will upload later on my channel which will help you to prepare some specific topics on tensors so uh, in tensor uh, there is covariant and contravariant tensor lebesgue symbol and kirchhoff symbol these two symbols um, are very important uh, i will upload uh, some one or two one page uh, uh, image of this uh, portion lebesgue and kirchhoff symbols and i think that will cover uh, everything about these two symbols so later on uh, we go to classical mechanics so uh, basically <coughs> in gate exam classic uh, from classical mechanics we get very really, really simple questions so like d lambert's principle cyclic coordinates variational principle lagrange equation of motion which is the most important thing in whole classical mechanics because uh, in uh, most of the classical mechanics problem you need to use the lagrange's equation of motion you need to remind you need to keep in mind uh, that thing first then central force uh, central force problem or scattering problems after that rigid body motion small oscillation hamiltonian's formalisms poisson bracket then the most important a uh, topic of classical mechanics that is special theory of relativity follows by lorentz transformation relativistic dynamics and lastly mass energy equivalence so basically this part this section 2 is um, relatively easy easier than the other section so you can uh, easily attempt to, uh, two or three questions in gate exam uh, from this section the next one is electromagnetic theory look many questions uh, come from this section but uh, this section is little bit uh, um, clumsy and um, attempting questions uh, from this section is little bit uh, tough still uh, you get some straight forward questions uh, like uh, what is there in the syllabus solution of electrostatic and magnetostatic problems including boundary well problems so this type of problem is a little bit tough tougher then dielectrics and conductor conductors and you can manage um, this uh, this section because dielectric and conductors um so relatively simple questions are set then maxwell's equations you need to know the maxwell's equations in different media like in free medium in conductors and in dielectrics etc then it's scalar and vector potential so you need to remember few relationship like lorentz gauge coulomb gauge 
and many more things then electromagnetic waves uh, they are reflection refraction interference diffraction polarization so mm, one or two questions certainly come uh, from this section like um, reflection refraction interference diffraction polarization then the most uh, the main very important thing is pointing vector pointing vector is basically mm, one by mu not e cross b and pointing theorem that is a theorem on mm, which pointing gave then after that energy and momentum of electromagnetic waves radiation from a moving charge so uh, this uh, the last uh, topic radiation from moving charge is basically only few things you need to study from here i will tell you over time what is what you need to read then section 4 uh it's about quantum mechanics so as you know that um, many questions come from quantum mechanics but um it is relatively easy to attempt questions from quantum mechanics if you um if your concept is clear then you can easily attempt um, two or three questions from quantum mechanics so it it is started with postulates of quantum mechanics then uncertainty principle schrodinger equation one two and three dimensional potential problems particle in a box transmission through one dimensional potential barriers harmonic oscillator hydrogen atom linear vector operators in hilbert space angular momentum spin addition of angular momenta time independent perturbation theory elementary scattering theory so uh, <coughs> among these topics um, you will definitely get one or two questions from time independent perturbation theory and scattering theory and those questions are um, yeah. what can i say relatively easy and um uh, favorable for increase your for increasing your score in exam so the next uh, section is thermodynamics and statistical uh, physics so basically um very simple questions are set from this topic laws of thermodynamics as their micro states macro states then phase space ensemble partition partition function partition function is the uh, key of uh, that uh, thermal uh, statistical physics so if you know the proper partition function then you can uh, extract many information about the system like uh, internal energy entropy pressure uh, chemical potential etc then free energy calculation of thermodynamic quantities classical and quantum statistics so one or two one question definitely come from this uh, classical and quantum statistics so uh, one classical statistics is in maxwell boltzmann statistics and quantum statistics means uh, fermi dirac statistics bose einstein statistics then degenerate fermi gas black body radiation planck distribution law this this topic these topics are really very important then bose einstein condensation so bose and some conditions in uh, basically um, not in every year but in uh, alternative year one question must come from this bose einstein condensation then uh, followed by first order and second order phase transition phase equilibrium the critical point so you need to um, learn uh, only few things about um, these topics and you will be definitely able to solve questions in your exam next one is atomic and molecular physics So spectra of one and many electron atoms, LSDs, couplings, hyperfine structures, Zeeman stack and stack effects. So these two topics, basically Zeeman effects uh, contains lots of questions, but stack from stack effects, uh, very uh, occasionally questions come. Then electric, electric dipole transition. This is very important, and that most importantly the selection rules. Selection rules are very important. then rotational and vibrational spectra of diatomic molecules electronic transitions in diatomic molecules frank condon principle raman effect raman effect is really an important topic to read not in msc or bsc levels but in higher um, research areas also raman effect is very important really important nmr is also important esr xs spectra lasers einstein coefficients lasers population inversion two and three level system so the laser and einstein coefficients on question must come from this section because uh, it um, contributes around 30% of the atomic and molecular physics then the next section is solid state and uh, <coughs> physics and electronics so basically in um, solid state physics elements of crystallography diffraction methods of methods for structure determination bonding in solids lattice vibration thermal properties of solids free electron theory band theory and um, <coughs> then 
उन में में मेनी मोर थिंग्स आर देयर दैट टाइट बाइंडिंग मॉडल्स मेटल्स सेमीकंडक्टर इफेक्टिव मास ऑप्टिकल डायइलेक्ट्रिक एंड मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉलिड्स सो यू मे गेट ओकेजनली वन और टू क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम दिस सेक्शंस एंड द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग ऑफ सॉलिड सर्किट फिजिक्स इज द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ सुपर कंडक्टिविटी टाइप 1 एंड टाइप 2 सुपर कंडक्टर्स मेजरनर इफेक्ट्स लॉन्डन इक्वेशन सो यू रियली नीड टू प्रिपेयर इट वेल to get one or two questions which uh, superconductivity now semiconductor we'll from electronic topics semiconductor device diodes bipolar junction transistor field effect transistors operational amplifiers negative feedback circuits filters oscillators power supplies and uh, flip flops counter resistor avid dvio conversion so avid and dvio conversion one question you'll definitely get last section is atomic and uh, nuclear and particle physics so this is i think um this is the most or you can say this is the easiest topic of uh, get syllabus equivalent to that classical mechanics topic classical mechanics still it's a little uh, tougher than this but nuclear physics is quite easy very easy you should not miss this uh, topic so nuclear radii charge distribution nuclear binding energy electric magnetic moments nuclear models nuclear dop models semi empirical mass formulas fermi gas models of nucleus nuclear cell model nuclear force and true nuclear problem alpha decay beta decay electromagnetic changes in nuclei rutherford scattering nuclear reaction conservation laws fission fusions particle accelerators and detectors so these things are basically very easy but you need to no certain things um if you are a regular watcher of my channel then i will be uploading um, several topics on this get uh, syllabus so stay tuned and stay connected lastly elementary particles photons variants meson leptons and quark model i will upload uh, two or three pages of this from this uh, section and that will be enough uh, for the preparation of particle physics so as you can see in get exam the syllabus is uh, very easy and i have um, i have decided to start get like series get lecture series um, very soon so in that lecture series i will be uploading crucial uh, topics of physics Hmm. Not only um, problems and solution, but I will upload a lecture series which will uh, help you to clarify your concepts, um, some um, crucial topics of physics which uh, which is uh, which are relatively difficult and um, difficult to understand. So stay tuned and stay connected. And uh, thanks for watching.